Welcome to Cam Look, our daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or a volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection, posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. each day for a new work and a new conversation. I'm Kathy, a docent at the Art Museum. Today we'll be looking at Frank Duvenek's The Whistling Boy, done in 1872. In this painting, we'll talk a little bit about how Duvenek is allowing us to see the unseen. We see a rather young boy with the soft lidded eyes gazed directly out at the viewer. He emerges from a dark background, dressed in a white shirt, a gray vest, and a worker's apron. His rosy lips are pinched as if he was indicating he might be whistling, as the title suggests. The highlights in his left sleeve bring your eyes down to the loosely rendered hand with the finger and the thumb clenched as if it were holding something. His right arm carries a bag that also seems to disappear in the darkness. Upon viewing this piece close up, what do you notice? I personally love the juicy mix of wet paint and his active brushstrokes. In contrast to the old master style of painting, where they paint smoothly to create form, Duvenek applies the paint thick and wet using patches of color next to each other in a technique called impasto. In doing so, he changes the way the paint is used. Traditionally, the paint is intended to be unseen simply to convey a beautiful image. In Duvenek's paintings, the paint is intended to be seen and part of the luscious experience of viewing the painting. What else might be considered unseen but seen in this painting? Who is the painting portraying and why? During the Industrial Revolution, when this painting was painted, the social classes were becoming more divided. Duvenek believed that the upper class were becoming too distant from everyday people, so Duvenek decided to convey a realistic view of the ugliness and radicalism of the working class struggle in America with his choice of subject rather than painting an idealized traditional image. How might a traditional patron of art be affected by the lower working class subject's direct gaze in this painting? Can you find similarity in Duvenek's thoughts of the issues of his day and the issues of today? If he were alive today, who would he be painting? Who are today's unseen? This painting is actually the first of three paintings Duvenek painted in a series called the Smoking Boy series. In The Whistling Boy, he has underplayed the cigarette in his left hand, hid in darkness. But the smoke can still be seen bellowing in front of the left bag. Why would the artist underplay the cigarette and name the painting Whistling Boy? Perhaps the artist had a greater chance of getting it into galleries, as the subject was very objectionable at the time. Cam's current Frank Duvenek exhibition offers a rare opportunity to see the complete Smoking Boy series hung next to each other, allowing us to see Duvenek's style develop and mature, as well as the Smoking Boys mature in each portrait. I hope you're able to come and enjoy this exhibit. It runs through March.